guys, it's Shannon Tobaldo on Tech and uh, doing a quick video for the Paperless Professor. Today, it is, we are in the quarantine Safer at Home initiative and I have come across supporting a lot of teachers who have worksheets, paper worksheets that they want to convert into uh, a Google Doc so that their students can uh, work with them and manipulate them, whether that's uh, watching a video and taking notes or just working through a digital worksheet. Um, regardless of how you feel about digital worksheets, I wanted to show you some techniques about how to take an actual piece of paper, use it, uh, take a picture of it uh, on your iPad or iPhone and upload it and convert it and with minimal editing, uh, work through it. So. Um, from there, it'll be a Google Doc and you can push it out to your Google Classroom. So sit back, take a minute, spend a few minutes with me and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so you probably have some type of worksheet or whatnot that you have in your home that you want to turn into a Google Doc. So here's one that I've just printed off the internet and I can take my iPad. <coughs> And I can open up Google Drive and I can use camera and I can take a photo of this piece of paper here and I'm going to say use photo and you can see that it's processing uh, there it is so I can then open it up here but now, what I can do is I can come over here and right now it's a picture, but when I go to my computer, I can actually make it a Google Doc. Okay, so here I am on my MacBook and you can see I'm just in my Google Drive. I'm gonna click on and that image will show up right here. And I can right click on it or just click on it. There it is, I can see the image. When I right click on it, I can see open with Google Docs and it'll begin converting immediately. Now it's gonna look a little wonky. It's actually gonna put a picture of the image right inside the very first thing we'll see. And then it will have started translating the rest of the Google Doc as best it can. Fonts are gonna look wonky. Um, sometimes uh, just the formatting is going to be a little off, but the first thing we'll do is get rid of the image and some of the random text that's there. So from here I can take a look at the original document. I can kind of see how it was originally formatted. I can start centering, putting things in boxes like the instructions, what is a simile, all that kind of stuff. And for the sake of time, I'm gonna fast forward through most of this formatting, but you'll be able to see how quickly it can go. Doing this exact same thing on an iPad, you will open up in Safari. And you need to be in Safari when you're doing this. And from there, you can click on the image and open with Google Docs. Here, you cannot have Google Docs, the app, installed. It must, act, must default into Safari. So if you have the Google Apps installed, this won't work. So just delete it. You can always add and subtract. And again, the same image will just open up. And from here, you can do all of the editing just as you did with the one we did on the actual computer itself. Uh, so go ahead and have fun, check this out, and um, let me know what you think. Okay, so I showed you how to take a photo of a worksheet, 
take it right through Google Drive, the app, using the app on your iPad or your iPhone, take a picture with the camera. Once it's there, go into Safari. If you're on your iPad, open up your Google Drive, tap it, go ahead and say open with Google Docs and it will convert it. And then from there you can make less than five minutes of editing and I had something that looked almost identical to the worksheet. Um, and from there, I can push it out to all my students using Google Classroom or whatever learning management system you're using. So hopefully that was helpful. The same thing can be done on an actual computer. If that's what you have, you need to take the picture through your camera or your portable device, put it into your Google Drive, and then you can also do open with Google Docs right on your computer. And I demonstrated that as well. Uh, but just know that if you're using your iPad, you need to use the through Safari, it will not work through the app. So I frequently will add and delete the Google Apps sheets and docs as necessary uh, because sometimes I can use the full version and I can do so much more when I'm running Google Apps through Safari on my iPad, iOS uh, 13. So check that out, hope that helps. Don't forget if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content, I will be posting more content on Google. So go ahead and hit subscribe, ring that bell, and I will try to get you as much paperless content for you educators as I possibly can. Thanks so much.